Hello, it's me James and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a survival world with full access to creative. Not only that, you will be able to get achievements on this world as well. So this is definitely a lot of fun to have and be able to do. And of course, it's a lot of help if you want some help with achievements or another simple use could be just for map building or something like that. That being said, let me show you exactly what you've got to do. First of all, we're going to click play and we are simply going to create a new world click create a new world and we're going to rename the world we'll call this glitch op world world nice and right now we are in survival we're just going to leave it in normal advanced settings you know we can just leave though as they are i mean you can turn coordinates on if you really want i mean i kind of like coordinates so i'll turn them on and uh yeah multiplayer game we're going to turn that off so nobody joins and create the game hopefully it does not take too long to load and yeah it's not looking too bad so dude what is this spawn that is not fair anyway first things first <laughs> we need to get out of the water that was terrible why is it so deep anyway i'm just gonna stand over here and uh yeah we're gonna proceed to do the trick dude what is that is this a glitch spawn i swear this is flashing every time i go up here it is flashing well that doesn't look cool anyway First thing you're going to want to do is uh, simply go into settings and simply go into creative. This sounds crazy, but believe me, that's what you're going to want to do. It will come up with this message. Turn off achievements. Achievements are only available in world set to survival mode with cheats off. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to read the rest. Continue. And yeah, now what we want to do is basically get ourselves a command block. So what we're going to do is go that little slash and we're going to go give just like this and then at and self command and then this little dash and then block i'm also going to add a two so i get two command blocks and you'll see here i've got two command blocks in my inventory now now what i'm going to do as well i'm going to go into the redstone menu and i'm going to grab myself two buttons i'm going to grab myself some mangrove buttons because uh, i like mangrove buttons i'm going to grab two of those and they are good to go now we're going to place down our first command block like so and we're going to go inside it and simply place this command so we're going to want to do slash game mode zero and then at all or self now i'm going to do it as all so everybody on this specific world when they're on it will be uh changed once i press the button so once i've done that i'm going to go out and then of course i'm going to press the button on the top and you can see now i get put into survival now at this point what i'm going to want to do is simply place down another command block of course we want to go back into creative so back into the settings and we're going to go obviously default game mode we're going to go into creative and we're going to go into creative personal game mode place another command block and we're going to want to put in the exact same command so that's game mode But this time, we're going to have a 1, and then I'm going to put at everyone again, and we're going to go off. We're going to grab the button, and this one will turn this into creative. So this one turns this into survival, and this one back into creative. And I know what you're thinking, but James, this is terrible. We still cannot get achievements on this world, and you are actually right. It says right here, achievements cannot be earned on this world. Now, that is not what we want. So, for us to be able to get achievements on this world once again, we are going to have to use a little thing called Universal Minecraft Editor. To do that, I'm going to save and quit, and of course, open up Universal Minecraft Editor. You can see that uh, this is what it looks like, and I'm simply going to click the Windows 10 section. You can see here, we've got a number of different worlds. I've got Simply Survival, My World, the Glitch OP World is the one that we're looking for, and I've got a copy of Simply Survival. I'm going to go on the Glitch OP World, and we're going to open this thing up like so, and you will see that we've got a number of different settings here. We're going to go on World Settings, and in this section, we will have a number of different world settings. Let me just make this bigger. 
so you can see you can see all of these different world settings now the specific one we're looking for is this one has been loaded in creative we're simply going to go to this and click it like so and it will highlight the number we will delete the one and replace that with the zero and now we're going to place enter like so and then when we click another one the zero that we just placed will be locked into position now what we need to do is go all the way to the three dots in the corner and we're going to go save all okay i'm going to save and it will say save all uh are you sure you want to save the world it will be saved to the original location yes and there you go our world has been saved now there is one more thing that you need to do so what i would do right now is actually refresh minecraft and load it up from a fresh again so that is exactly what i'm going to do again hopefully it doesn't take too long to load and yeah there we go we're going to go and play you can see here this world is still in creative i'm going to click this button and it actually reads a new message if you start playing with these settings achievements will no longer be enabled in this world or earnable sorry so to fix this what we're going to want to do is simply go into survival here in our default game mode we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and we are simply going to deactivate the cheats all right and now we are good to go so we should be able to play this world and we should have access fully to creative and of course survival so now i'm in creative but if we open the menu we don't have this message anymore so that means we can get achievements of course my personal game mode is in creative but as i said we can you know change this let's just uh, go like this boom now we're in uh, survival we can go back here you can see everything is 100 percent survival and now we can go back here and go into creative and now we have full access to creative in our survival worlds so if you want to see what achievements you need in your world you can simply go on this button here in the menu and uh, yeah it will tell you all the locked achievements i've got like all of it wow you're amazing thank you and uh yeah it'll tell you all the ones that you've completed and all of the ones uh yeah basically everything you also get some like little prizes little skin things so i would say they're worth doing and of course this makes things super easy to do so and now we've got full access to creative we can pretty much do whatever you want including flying so we can just get to places really really fast i haven't really looked around this world but i mean flying makes things yeah as i just said fast need to get to the nether no problem what about a quick trip to the end see ya now fighting the dragon just becomes like stupidly easy of course we've got to take out the crystals first so even if you try like the killer all command you can see it'll still come up cheats aren't enabled so we're still fully in survival well, technically speaking, we could just make another end portal in the end and totally escape that way. So we don't even need to fight the Ender Dragon. And there you go. We beat the game. <laughs> oh, damn. We're in the water again. One last thing. I'm going to add this world to the downloads chat in the JamFam Discord. I'm going to put the link to the Discord in the description below. Purely for the fact, if you don't have access to the tools required to do this, then uh, at least you can have a go on the world and, you know, have a little bit of fun. So, yeah, the link to that is in the description below. So, that is all I've got time for today. I hope this helps you out. I will catch you on the next one.